I don't, I, well, I'm going to tell you why I'm so sure. Don't, don't ask me a question like that. I'm not going to, I'm not biting. I refuse your question. Why? Because I refuse your question. I'm Hello movie fans, today we're going to explore the world of Quentin Tarantino, one of the most respected and beloved directors of our time. Tarantino's unique storytelling style and memorable characters have made a lasting impact on the film industry. Join us as we take a deep dive into his films and discover what makes them stand out. So sit back, relax, and get ready to immerse yourself in the quirky and fascinating world of Quentin Tarantino. They hadn't done what I told them not to do. They'd still be alive. Number 1. Reservoir Dogs 1992 Reservoir Dogs is a crime thriller film that follows the story of a group of criminals who are strangers to each other and their botched diamond heist. The film is divided into chapters that focus on each character's perspective and backstory as they try to figure out who among them is an undercover cop. The film is known for its non-linear narrative style graphic violence and memorable dialogue. As the story unfolds, tensions arise among the criminals, leading to a violent and bloody showdown. Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. Number 2. Pulp Fiction 1994 Pulp Fiction is a non-linear crime film that follows the lives of several criminals in Los Angeles. The film is divided into several stories that interwine with each other. The first story follows two hitmen, Vincent and Jules, who are sent to retrieve a briefcase for their boss, Marcellus Wallace. The second story follows Vincent as he takes out his boss's wife, Mia, on a date and ends up having to revive her from a drug overdose. The third story follows a boxer named Butch who double-crosses Marcellus and must flee the city. The final story follows Vincent and Jules as they encounter a group of robbers during a diner holdup. The film explores themes of violence, redemption and the consequences of one's actions. Gonna offer to set them up? Yeah. Number 3. Jackie Brown 1997 Jackie Brown is a crime thriller that follows the life of a middle-aged flight attendant named Jackie Brown who gets caught smuggling money for her boss. In order to avoid jail time, Jackie devises a plan to double-cross Ordal, his boss, and steal half a million dollars from him. With the help of a bail bondsman named Max Cherry, Jackie successfully executes executes her plan, but not without facing several obstacles along the way. The film explores themes of trust, betrayal, and survival in the criminal underworld. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? You know, for a second there? Yeah. Number 4. Kill Bill 1 2003 Kill Bill 1 is a revenge thriller that follows the story of a former assassin named The Bride, who wakes up from a coma after being shot in the head at her own wedding, seeking vengeance against her former boss and lover, Bill the Bride embarks on a mission to kill him and his team of assassins who betrayed and left her for dead. With the help of a retired sword maker named Hanzo, the Bride sets out to eliminate her targets one by one, using her deadly martial arts skills and her sword. The film is known for its stylized violence, action sequences, and homage to martial arts films. There's a few unanswered questions. Number 5. Kill Bill 2 2004 Kill Bill 2 continues the story of the bride as she continues her mission to kill Bill and his remaining assassins. The film delves deeper into the bride's past, revealing her real name and backstory. Is it safe? No, oh, it's better than safe. It's death proof. Number 6. Death Proof 2007 Death Proof follows a psychopathic stuntman named Stuntman Mike who uses his death proof car to kill young women. After successfully murdering a group of friends, he sets his sights on a new group of women who turn out to be just as tough and dangerous as he is. The film ends with an intense car chase and a final showdown between Stuntman Mike 
and the surviving women. Killing Nazis. Sound good? Yes, sir! Number 7. Inglorious Bastards, 2009 During World War II, a group of American soldiers are sent into Europe to kill Nazis. They work with a British officer to formalize a plan to kill several high-ranking German officers at the premiere of a movie depicting the heroics of a German soldier. However, something goes wrong at the meeting with their contact, a German actress and all of the members of the team who speak German are killed. The leader, Rain, comes up with an alternative and the screening is moved to a small theater due to the man depicted in the movie taking a liking to the owner of the theater, a Jew whose entire family was killed by a Nazi officer. She also has her own plans. Playing your ass for a fool. Number 8. Django Unchained 2012 Two years before the Civil War, German bounty hunter Dr. King Schultz arrives in America to capture the Brittle brothers, who are outlaws. He meets Django, a freed slave and tracker, who aims to rescue his wife, Brumhilda, from Calvin Candy, a ruthless plantation owner. Together, they team up to capture some of the most wanted men in the South. Django's mission is to free Brumhilda from the treacherous slave trade before it's too late. They arrive at Candy's plantation, Candyland, where slaves are are groomed for gladiator-like competitions by Billy Crash. However, as they plan a daring escape, Candy's house slave Stefan discovers their plan and informs his master of the betrayal. A clandestine organization attempts to back them into a corner, and Django and Dr. Schultz must come out with pistols blazing if they hope to free Broomhilda from Candyland and its vile proprietor. What? Make a man brave a blizzard? Kill in cold blood? Number 9. The Hateful Eight 2015 After the Civil War, a stagecoach travels through the wintry Wyoming with bounty hunter John Ruth and his captive Daisy chasing Red Rock. Along the way, they encounter bounty hunter Major Warren and Red Rock's new sheriff, Chris Mannix. Lost in a blizzard, they seek a refuge at Minnie's haberdashery, where they encounter unfamiliar faces like Bob, Red Rock Hangman, Mowbray, Cowpuncher Joe Gage, and Confederate General Sanford Smithers. As the storm overtakes the mountainside, the eight travelers realize they might not make it to Red Rock. Shooting. <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of killing. Number 10. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 2019 Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a comedy drama set in 1969 Los Angeles, following the lives of a fading TV actor and his stunt double as they navigate the changing film industry and the Mansion family murders. Rick Dalton, the actor, struggles to maintain his relevance while his friend and stunt double Cliff Booth navigates the darker side of Hollywood. Meanwhile, while Sharon Tate, a rising star and Rick's neighbor, becomes entangled in the Mansion family's plans. The film culminates in a violent and unexpected climax that changes the course of Hollywood history.